it's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of Formula One action. We're not expecting too many retirements at this circuit. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralph Schumacher, who made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Sainz and Sir Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen, Russell, Perez, Magnussen and Pierre Gasly, Mick Schumacher, Albon, Esteban Ocon and Fettel, Moore, Bottas, Lance Stroll and Guan Yu Zhou, Latifi and Yuki Tsunoda. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Natalie Pinkham joins me once again in the commentary box. It's fantastic to have you with us today. I'm curious though, how do you think the drivers stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into turn one, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Okay, how was that pull away? You'll we'll have a bit more grip than that at the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Superb parking there, mate. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out.
Race over, take care of the car on the way in. And it's a performance to be proud of from our Hungarian Grand Prix winners. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving that they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced let's focus on the driver of the day natalie pinkham come on who do you pick i have to give it to more there was a lot going on all down the field but they were the only one who i really felt maximized their potential let's move on to the constructors mclaren continue to increase their gap at the top meanwhile ferrari have improved their position a strong week